it's uh, about sudden infant death syndrome preventive measures so not everyone is aware of this condition so unfortunately uh, in the normal population a certain proportion of babies not a big number it used to be a high number previously but nowadays it's reducing so it's not a common condition but still about uh, 1 in 400 to 1000 babies may have sudden infant death and uh, certain measures definitely reduce the risk to well below these numbers i mentioned so we should place healthy infants on their backs to sleep and place the baby on a firm mattress to sleep and they should never be on a soft surface in case they roll their face may get into the soft area and they may not be able to breathe to prevent rebreathing do not put blankets comforters stuffed toys or pillows any wrap used for the baby should be compact it shouldn't have a big loose end which can obstruct the face of the baby uh, a big adult kind of blanket should never be used for babies such uh, cotton wraps which can be easily wrapped and tucked should be used do not use bumper pads in cribs there is a potential risk of suffocation or strangulation make sure your baby receives all the recommended vaccines as the immunization reduces sudden infant death by 50 percent make sure the baby does not get too warm while sleeping so in the newborn period a room temperature of 23 to 25 degrees as suits the parents is appropriate if the room is too warm then uh, the baby may go into deeper sleep and uh, making it more difficult to arouse if there is a problem like choking during feeds this may lead to sudden death do not smoke drink or use drugs while pregnant and do not expose the baby to second hand smoke this increases the risk of SIDS as well receive early and regular prenatal care make sure the baby has regular well baby checkups breastfeeding reduces the incidence of SIDS and uh, if you have reflux uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease be sure to follow the doctor's guidelines on feeding and sleep positions Appropriate management is important as the reflex may cause choking episodes and uh, that's important to consider. Use of pacifiers has been linked to a lower risk of SIDS possibly because of better uh, self-regulation. Uh, you have to balance this with breastfeeding. I don't uh, avoid the use of pacifiers uh, if the baby has persisting uh, crying issues. In the first uh, one, uh, one month to three months of age. Try not to use it beyond three months. Don't use it in the first two weeks of age when the baby is learning to latch. Uh, if the parents are strongly uh, against use of pacifier, uh, there is no need to force them because of this benefit. While infants can be brought into a parent's bed for nursing or comforting, the parents should return them to their cribs or bassinets when they're ready to sleep. It's better to keep the cribs and bassinets in the room where the parents sleep. So the babies and the parents sleep in the same room, but not in the same bed. So uh, I have given you a few important